Hi, I'm Dr. Tay, Dermatologist from Sunway Special Centre, Damansara. Hi, today we'll be talking about eczema. So eczema actually is a common skin condition where there is a chronic inflammation in the skin layer which there is a skin barrier disturbance. Most of the patients with eczema, they will have this red scaly skin and it's very itchy for them. Some of the patients begin since childhood, some adult adolescent and some even progress to adulthood. Because eczema is a chronic relaxing and remitting disease, people might be asking what can trigger the flare of the eczema. There are ups and downs in eczema, so we have to avoid the necessary trigger. The most common trigger include house dust mite, pollen, dog and cat dander, and actually some of the skin infection also can make an eczema flare. Sometimes people might wonder when you have such a bad skin, redness, skin, you're a bit afraid, is it contagious? Will I get infected with this if I touch the patient? The answer is no. The eczema itself is not infectious. Some of the patients might ask me, Doctor, do I need to avoid this food and this food? So actually the answer is no. You don't have to avoid the food if you are not allergic to it. Even though food allergy is associated with eczema, not necessarily you have food allergy if you have eczema. Treatment of eczema, there are various treatment modality. The mainstay of treatment is still topical. Topical moisturizer, we can use topical corticosteroid, oral corticosteroid if needed, however, we don't use it for long term. If you require oral corticosteroid for long term, that means we need to consider other modality. Some of the patients might need long term immunosuppression, phototherapy, or even biologic therapy. Eczema is a chronic disease. Sometimes they have up, sometimes they are down. So when they have this kind of chronic diseases, the treatment will be a longer duration of treatment. They need patience in terms of adjusting the medicine. So if you have this very bad eczema, please do consult a dermatologist. Thank you.